The SeaWorld chain features some of my favorite amusement parks in the United States. These parks are lauded for their deep coaster collection and beautiful presentations, and many of them also include animal exhibits as well. So in this video, I will rank the chain's theme parks. Before starting the countdown, I need to note a few parks that will be excluded from the list. First, I have not been to the newly opened SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. This park looks amazing with its giant aquariums and indoor environments, but it also features an intriguing multi-launch coaster in Manta. Second, this list will exclude the Sesame Place in California. I visited this park back when it was Aquatica, but I have not been back since the re-theme radically changed the park, so I cannot fairly rank it. Third, and related to that, I will include two water parks in the list. I will be excluding Adventure Island in San Antonio's Aquatica, as I have not been to either park. Fourth, you will not see SeaWorld in Australia on this list. Despite the name, it is not owned by the SeaWorld parks. There is a space between Sea and World in that one, but I do not blame people who think this park is owned by the same company because it has a very similar feel with its animal exhibits and a ride lineup with a few notable coasters, such as Leviathan. Starting off the list at number 8 is Sesame Place in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. This is the smallest park in this list by far. This is a very small park primarily for children, but it serves that demographic well. It heavily leans into the Sesame Street IP with a series of parades and meet and greets. Then a few rides have some light decorations as well. This park is a handful of flat rides targeted towards families, but a few can spin you pretty quickly. Then the park has two roller coasters as well, including the wonderfully wild Oscar's Wacky Taxi. Do not be fooled by this ride size. This little gravity group wood coaster packs in a lot of airtime. It is the main reason I try to visit this park. Now unfortunately, this ride is frequently closed, which makes it a frustrating park for me to visit personally. And the park also has some water slides mixed in throughout the park. Most of them are gentle, but there is a unique family raft slide with some lazy river sections and Elmo's surf and slide. Number 7. Aquatica in Orlando, Florida. This is a good water park. This place is a really nice and relaxing atmosphere. It feels sort of like a tropical resort with the landscaping and sandy areas. Then the slide lineup is strong too. Ehu's Breakaway Falls is the standout attraction. This is one of the most intense speed slides in the world. Some other notable rides here include Ray Rush and Care Care Curl, both of which feature big drops and wall elements. Then you also have the Dolphin Plunge body slide that goes through a dolphin tank and an assortment of tube slides. And I also have to mention Roa's Rapids, which is a fast-paced action river that pulls you downstream. Number 6. Water Country USA in Williamsburg, Virginia. This is one of the best settings of any water park in my opinion. This one is very hilly, and many slides use that to their advantage as they carve their way downhill. And this park has a ton of tree coverage as well. This provides plenty of shade, and it gives the park a more natural feel. Moving on to the attractions, the slide lineup here is deep as well. This park also has a wild speed slide of its own in Vanish Point. The trapdoor slides in particular have steep drops and quick twists. Then this park also has a water coaster and cutback. It does not have any large drops this model is known for, but it does have very quick pacing between the water power descents and saucer turns. Rounding out the top three is Colossal Curl, a tornado wave slide with a whippy twisted drop and a large wall element. Then this park has a robust supporting cast of tube and raft slides to fill out a day. And the park has fast operations across the board, which helps keep lines moving on busier days. Number 5. SeaWorld San Antonio This is a massive park, and I'm glad they've started to fill in the gaps in recent years. This park always had a strong coaster lineup though. Steel Eel and Texas Stingray are a strong top two offering plenty of airtime. Then you have a forceful invert in Great White, and an intimate straddle coaster on the water in Wave Breaker. And for those hot days, you have Journey to Atlantis and the soaking Rio Loco. But they've also been improving their non-coasters in recent years with additions like Tidal Surge. The one odd thing about this park is the placement of the animal exhibits. Most of them aren't really in the park. They're in this section adjacent to the park known as Discovery Point. You don't even need a ticket to get in there. It's a great area with sharks and dolphins, 
but I wish the animals were spread across the park like they are at the other SeaWorld parks. Number 4. SeaWorld San Diego This is probably the most underrated park in the chain in my opinion. It is absolutely beautiful. You have the lush landscaping the chain is known for, plus a gorgeous setting by the bay, and the park's tallest rides offer spectacular views. The Bayside Skyride goes directly over the bay, and then you also have the 320 foot or 100 meter tall Sky Tower. The park does have a lot of red tape when they want to build tall, but they still have built up a solid coaster lineup. The most thrilling rides here are Electric Eel, which is a premier ride Skyrocket 2 with some exciting elements, and then you also have Emperor, a fast paced B&M dive coaster. But the best ride here is Manta. This mock multi-launch coaster stays low to the ground, but it still packs in some wild laterals and airtime pops at points. And I really like the animal attractions at this park. The shows and exhibits are spread all throughout the park. Number 3. SeaWorld Orlando This is widely considered the chain's flagship park, and it is not hard to see why. It is located in the theme park capital of the world, and it does so many things well. The park is an impressive lineup of B&M roller coasters. Mako is the headliner. This is a B&M hyper coaster with some of the most sustained floater airtime on the planet. Manta is a flying coaster that perfectly balances grace and power. Pipeline is a prototype stand-up coaster with some shocking feet off the floor airtime moments. And Kraken is a large multi-looper with some whippy inversions. Then the park also has an ejector airtime machine and icebreaker as its premier rides coaster has some shocking ejector pops. Beyond that, the park has two excellent water rides. You have the themed water coaster in Journey to Atlantis, and one of the world's best river rapids rides in Infinity Falls. You will get absolutely soaked in this one. There isn't much here in terms of flat rides beyond the Sky Tower, but there are plenty of animal shows and exhibits scattered about the park much like the San Diego location and it is a pretty park too between the nice landscaping and lake in the center. Number 2. Bush Gardens Tampa This is the best park in the chain when it comes to roller coasters. The lineup is stacked top to bottom. The star is Iron Gwazi, an RMC hybrid coaster with a wicked beyond vertical drop and breakneck pacing. Then you have some powerful looping coasters as well. One is a sit-down coaster in Kumba, and the other is an Egyptian-themed inverted coaster in Montu. It is one of the best of its kind. But that's not all. This park also has a sprawling Intamin multi-launch coaster in Cheetah Hunt, a large B&M dive coaster in Shikra, a classic Schwarzkopf looper in Scorpion, a unique spinning coaster in Cobra's Curse, and a Skyrocket 2 in Tigris. This park also has some solid water rides, including a Flume and a River Rapids ride, then the flat ride lineup is small, but there is a large scream and swing, and one of the scariest drop towers in the world in Falcon's Fury. Beyond the rides, this park is themed to Africa. There are pockets of theming, wonderful landscaping, and most importantly, some large animal habitats. Getting coasters of this quality with essentially a zoo is blissful. And the park also has some great food offerings as well, most notably the Pretzel Place and Zambia Smokehouse. And coming in, number one is Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This is my favorite park in the chain. While it doesn't have the animals of the former, I prefer the look and feel of this park. I love the European themed areas between the landscaping and buildings. Then the coaster lineup is similarly excellent. Many rides here go out into the woods, offering great night rides. Pantheon is the standout for me. This Intamin multi-launch coaster is a thrilling swing launch sequence and then some unique out of your seat moments. Then this park also some good B&Ms. Apollo's Chariot is a scenic hyper coaster with plenty of floater airtime. Griffin is a large dive coaster with a more complete layout than a lot of them. And Alpengeist is a gigantic invert with a powerful first half. Then this park rounds things out with a unique indoor outdoor launch coaster in Verbolton, a Skyrocket 2 in Tempesto, an indoor straddle coaster in Dark Coaster, a historic looping coaster in Loch Ness Monster, and a peppy GCI wood coaster in Invader. While this park is another that doesn't have too much in terms of flat rides, it does have a very deep water ride lineup. The highlight of this bunch is the highly themed Escape from Pompeii Shoot the Shoots. Then this park has some of the best shows in the amusement industry to round out the offerings. And like the Tampa Park, 
This also has a great pretzel place and trapper smokehouse when you want a bite to eat. So that is how I rank the SeaWorld parks I have personally visited. What are your thoughts about any of these parks? Let me know down in the comments. I have separate reviews already published for all of these parks if you want more in-depth thoughts or guides about any of them. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.